It's not all about winning, it's about sticking with a team for life. Most people will tell you that West Ham fans are some of the best in the league. Your hairs are going up, even if it's just a Premier League game that you're not playing for anything, it still means a lot. Claret and blue, cut me open, that's what I bleed. Do you recognise where I am? This is why I love West Ham. What are the chances my dad pocket dials me on FaceTime as I'm standing outside the old gaff? There's a massive dog coming from my legs. Um, that happens around here. Well, this is kind of where it all began for me, really. Uh, West Cliff on Sea, South End in Essex. And I was actually born in that house. Not in hospital or anything like that, in that house. And um, funnily enough, you may be able to see some floodlights there. That is the stadium, not of West Ham, but of South End United, which is a obviously local team here and essentially my local team by birth, right? I lived in that house until I was six months old. See that, that window right there? I was literally born in that room. So, I mean, I wouldn't have been sure what was going on, but if I, if I was a bit older, I would have looked out and I'd have seen Roots Hall. That is football heritage from day one. You know, people always say your dad kind of picks your team for you, don't they? And I'm no different. My dad, West Ham fan, me and my brothers, West Ham fans, he was lucky because he got to support West Ham when we were good, like really good, you know? Like won the World Cup in 1966, obviously that was England, but they had Jeff Hurst, Martin Peters, Bobby Moore, all West Ham players. My dad used to get on the train from Greys with his mates, go and see West Ham. A lot of people from that part of the world are West Ham fans and that's pretty much how I became one and have been ever since day dot. So here we are, this is uh, Upton Park or Bowling Ground, whatever you want to call it. Been coming here since I was very young. When I first started coming here, I didn't even know how to pronounce the name of the team properly because I was like a toddler and I was like, come on Wet Ham, Wet Ham. And uh, I think I eventually, obviously someone pointed out that it was West Ham. But yeah, I mean, I've been coming here all my life. The atmosphere here on a match day is, is brilliant. I think most people will tell you that West Ham fans are some of the best in the league. That moment when I'm for a blowing bubble starts getting played, on the speaker system, the players come out, everyone's singing, but then they cut the music and it's just everyone else going, Pretty bubbles in the air. Pretty bubbles in the air. It's such a good moment. Your hairs are going up, even if it's just a Premier League game that you're not playing for anything, it still means a lot. This shirt is actually a very special shirt. It is, uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera, that there's bubbles and the texture of the shirt. There's bubbles, and within the bubbles it says the number 100, because it's our centenary shirt. This was released in 1995, when West Ham had been around for 100 years. I mean, it, it's a snazzy number. This is a Bobby Moore stand up here, obviously named after our most famous son. Uh, I spent a lot of my youth sitting towards the top end of that stand watching players like Paolo Di Canio, he was the one that really stood out for me, what a player. Bit of an extrovert, bit of a, bit of a nutcase, some would say, but an excellent footballer. This is the West Ham uh, changing room and there would have been, well in my lifetime, some amazing players that have got ready and, and prepared for their match here. We're talking about the likes of Frank Lampard, uh, both junior and senior. Frank Lampard actually went to the same school as me. Um, I went to the sort of primary school version. I was never there at the same time as him, but he was a bit of a legend there. Scored a lot of goals for West Ham and Chelsea, mostly Chelsea, unfortunately. But it'd be nice to have him a bit longer. Joe Cole, Rio Ferdinand, Michael Carrick. That is the kind of the quality of the players we produced, you know, in the sort of mid 90s to early 2000s. More recently, the likes of Mark Noble have come through and been a one club man. What a legend. I love that guy. We love you West Ham. We do. Oh West Ham, we love you. I have to admit, it is a privilege to get to come and do stuff like this. At any club, particularly at your club. Like, it's crazy, you know. It's, I mean, if I, I don't know what it would be like walking around like this with a packed stadium on a Saturday afternoon. It would be, it would be mental. But even now, it still gives you, uh, gives you goosebumps. And of course, we're not going to be at this stadium much longer. I mean, there is kind of, um, two sides to how people feel about that. We're going to have one more season left. The 2015-16 season will be our, our final season at the bowling ground. I will miss it, I will miss it. And it's going to be a shame because it won't be here. It's not like it gets to, you know, when you leave a stadium, they don't just leave it there. You do go and visit, it just goes. They, they knock it down, they build other things. So I definitely, end of this year, because I've got a season ticket, 
I want to try and get a little memorabilia, whether I get a bit of grass or take one of these seats, I don't know. I shouldn't talk about it too loud because these guys are probably listening, but I'm going to try and get something. Okay, well here we are now in Stratford and uh, that big fella in the background there is the Olympic Stadium, West Ham's new home as of the 2016-17 season. And it wasn't easy to get it, we had a bit of competition from local rivals Spurs. Come through, come through. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, you're a good man, come on you irons. Yes yeah, son, you looking forward to that? Yeah man. Yes, it's going to be good isn't it? Cheers mate. So he's happy, and some people aren't happy about it, to be honest, because some people are going to miss the bowling ground, which I get because it's a great atmosphere. You know, we've filled it up for years. There's a little bit of a question mark as to whether we're going to fill that up. I think we're a big enough club to do it. We've got most of Essex behind us. If we want to progress past the levels we've done in recent years, we need to make more money. Financial fair play means that you can only really spend what you make. So for a smaller team like West Ham to compete with the likes of the Champions League clubs, we need to make more. Filling up a stadium that's 60,000 instead of 35, allows us to make more. I've actually already got my season ticket. Even though it's not next season, it's season after next. I've already bought it. I actually think I was the first person in the world to get one. That's what the guys at the club said anyway. Great seats, just uh, sort of on the halfway line above the dugout, West Stand. Going to be magnificent. I can't wait for that. The future could be very bright and that stadium is a massive part of that future. So guys, that is why I love West Ham, because of their beautiful past, because of their present and because of their bright future. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like on it, subscribe to Copper 90 for more of the same and if you want to check out my own videos, there's a link to my channel in the description. And finally, if you'd like to win yourself a very snazzy West Ham shirt, actually the home shirt of the Centenary shirt that I'm wearing that I talked about earlier, it's also signed by myself as well, all you've got to do is leave a comment underneath the video, let us know who you'd like to see on the next Why I Love what club you'd like to see them talking about. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you when you're older. Don't go changing. Hi. Uh, hello. You all right, mate? Yeah. Uh, oh. What's that? Oh. You can come. You can come across. It's all right. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Go on, go on, go on, go on. See you later. Bye. It's just a subscriber. <laughs>